you are welcome to my channel in this video we'll be solving a question still on cycloid but with a different condition it says that we should draw a cycloid of a rolling circle of di of diameter 60 for one complete circle and the question continues at this place it says if the rolling point of the circle on if the rolling point starts from the bottom that is from the bottom of the circle. You know, the first one we did in the last video. Oh, sorry, it's from the top, not bottom. It's from the top, from the top of the circle. The last one we did started from the bottom. This one wants to start from the top. And let's see what we'll achieve. So the first thing we're going to draw is to draw a horizontal line. After drawing the horizontal line, then I'll draw a circle of diameter 60, which is equal to radius 30. I'll measure 30. This is 30. That's radius 30. Let me pick a point. I'll pick this point at the center, the center of my circle. I'll stay here like this with radius 30 and I'll draw the circle like that. So after drawing the circle, I need to draw a vertical line. I need to draw a vertical line. I'll draw a vertical line so that I can divide my circle into 12 equal parts. Draw a vertical line like that. After the vertical line, I'll now use my compass to divide the circle into 12 equal parts with the same radius of the circle. I'll stay here, mark arc above and below. Stay here, mark it to the right and to the left. I'll stay here, I'll mark it above and below. Then finally, I'll stay here and mark it to the right and to the left. So I've divided my circle into 12 equal parts. The next thing is to draw the line to show my divisions like this, this, this. I'll come to the other side, make sure the lines are passing through the center this one and finally this so we have succeeded in dividing to 12 equal parts the next thing i want to do is to number since the rolling point say it says it starts from the top so i will start from this top that's where my one will be so i'll do one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then I need to draw horizontal line from all those points. I'll start from the base horizontal line. I'll do for this one horizontal line. For this one too. Horizontal line. The middle is there already. I'll do for this horizontal line for twelve and two horizontal line and for one for one horizontal line so we have done our division the next thing is to divide the circumference from here to here into 12 equal parts so by the time we, to divide that one you can just use approximate method the approximate method use the approximate method get the get i want to use from six to seven you can use anyone either from six to seven, five to six, four to five, or anyone. This is an approximate method. I'll stay here now. I'll start from this seven. I'll mark it like this. This is one. I'm marking twelve. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is that. So the next thing is to draw vertical lines from those points. From all the points, vertical lines. One, two, three. Three, four, 
five, six, seven. Make sure your lines are vertical. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last one. 12. So we have divided into 12 core parts. The next thing we want to do is to begin to plot our points. Remember, our rolling points start from the top. So you get the radius of the circle first. Get the radius. This is the radius of the circle. So the first one on the horizontal line one will be here. It will be on one. Then you go to oh, I've not labeled it, my centers. Let me label my center C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C back to C1. So now let me now begin to plot my point. I've plotted for one. So I'll go to center C2. This is horizontal line two. You can see two here. So you mark it on this horizontal line two. Then you go to C3. This horizontal line three. So you mark it on three. Like this, go to C4, like this, and you mark it on horizontal line 4, which is this. Then you go to C5 and mark it on, look at 5 here, so this is horizontal line 5, you mark it here. Go to C6, <coughs> this is horizontal line 6, you mark it here. C7, C7 will be here, it will be yes, exactly on this point. That's C7. Then we go to C8. When you go to C8, it will now be this is eight. You can see eight and six are on the same point. So it will be here. That shifted. Let me get the I think this is the height. So it will be here, somewhere here. So it will form a turning point at that place. You go to C9. Horizontal line nine is this this one. So you mark it here. Go to C10. On the line 10 is this one in the middle. This is 10. 11 will be this one. Check it. This 11. Then 12 will be this. Let's check it. This is 12. And 1 will be back to the starting point, which is this. So we have all our points now. Now the next thing to do is to connect with French curve. Let's connect with French curve. Let's connect with French curve. Let me see this one. Let's join it. Don't forget that this one will come this way. This one is coming like this. It will turn at this point. So let us get it very well. I want us to give it a very smooth curve so let's use this one so that I can just draw the first part let me see this one in here no. okay let me draw this part then I use this one to complete it here. Let's miss this one a little. So let us turn it this way and do this other side. it completely it's completely out of the way forget the point here let me see how I can play around with it that it doesn't miss too much okay like this 
now it has missed this one then just complete it this way with this and this one will be somehow like this to give you this, this shape to give you let me thicken this side Okay, so that's the solution to the first part of the question. So I'll solve the other part of the question in the next video, which is tangent and normal. If you have enjoyed this video, do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you very much for watching. We'll meet in the next video.